What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we have five more design tips to really make your island stand out. And the first two, as you can obviously see them in front of my campground, are gonna be all about your campsites and making them look a bit better. Uh, I've been to many people's islands, I've seen a lot of people's islands. Honestly, they kind of get ignored. And it's kind of a shame because the campground is literally a showcase of your island for villagers that don't live there. So they come, check out your island, uh, and really get a feel for it. So I think that this is this should be an area that is heavily decorated. I think it's kind of like a reflection of your island. So the first two tips are gonna deal with that. First tip is actually about 10 to 12 items that are at your disposal that you don't have yet. And those are the promotional Animal Crossing pocket camp items. So right here, and this is probably my favorite campground item, is this campsite sign. So I actually just put it in front of my campground um, and I'll tell you guys how to do that. So first of all, you need to have the Animal Crossing Pocket Camp free. It's a, it's a free game. It's not that great. I, I don't personally like it, but it is okay. So you basically have to download that, go to the app. There'll be a main menu in the bottom right corner and there'll be an option for my Nintendo rewards. So you just click on that and you just claim your free Animal Crossing New Horizons items. Once you claim those items, they'll give you a download code, which you then put into your Nintendo eShop, just as like a normal game code or download code or anything like that. Put it in the eShop and it will download onto your Switch. And next you're gonna go to the Nook Stop inside Residential Services, go to Nook Shopping, and there'll be uh, a new tab under Special Goods. If you hit R, at the top, there'll be new promotional items for you. You do have to spend your bells on them. You can only order up to five a day, but all these items are at your disposal. Look at this, Break Tapper. Uh, it's kind of like a arcade game. Your campsite sign, which I mentioned before, probably my favorite thing, um, and alone is a reason to do this. Fortune cookie cart, there's some really fun decorations, marketplace decoration. I can definitely see that outside of like, sort of like a common area or a market. Uh, you know, different signs. Like, I really think, like, these little models here, I don't know what you can do with them, but, yeah, they're there. Uh, a few clothing options. I really think this is kind of a hidden gem, and, and they're free for you guys, so go claim them. All right, so we are back at my campsite. Tip number two is a bunch of little tips. It's just campground ideas, just to make your campground a bit better. Uh, the first idea, which I think is really sneaky is these wooden stakes right here or log stakes i think they're called so under your diy i think it's a pretty easy recipe to get i think most people have them uh, they're called log stakes they just take three pieces of wood so super simple to make um, and i use them quite uh, generously so i put them in between the cedar trees and i just think it makes a really nice almost like a natural fence we'll see some of these details later but towards the back, like I really just like the way that that looks. It gives it a lot of depth and really makes it kind of look like a full woods forest area. So I really like that. And also I customize a few to make little birch log stakes. And these are really nice near like white flowers, a bit more cedar trees. So yeah, those look really good. Um, so I'll just take you kind of through my campsite. Uh, my entrance right here, You've already seen the sign, but this is a, a natural bridge right here. Just did some flowers, some of those birch log stakes on the left and right. Um, and then over here, this is kind of a sneaky idea too. Um, so this is just the wooden path. So let me go into island designer mode. Okay, so all this is, you have to buy these of course, but the wooden path. And all I did is two squares and it just, I like this a lot. It's, it's a bit different. I haven't really seen this on too many people's islands, but it's a nice little walk up to the, to the tent. Also, the campground looks a lot better with the tent. There just happens to be someone visiting me here. Um, this is just, uh, let me pull these up so you guys can see them. This table right here is just a log dining table. I think you get it very early in the game. A couple log benches, and then I just decided to put the picnic, the uh, picnic basket there the lantern, just think what would you find at a campground? So all I did was make a rectangle and on each of these other sides, I made two squares, rounded them off. And I just think that that looks really neat. These are the log, I think it's wild log. Yeah, wild log bench, 
it takes eight hardwood. Just put those on either side. Put a little stone stool here with the radio. I think that that looks like a really cool thing. I got this random plastic container, which I wasn't too hot on before, but you know, a lot of campgrounds have like a giant jug of water to put the fire out. I don't know. It looks it looked pretty cool. I just have a random well here and then one of the swinging benches. I think that this looks solid. Um, sometimes less is more. I don't think this is crowded at all, but I think it came out really good. So maybe uh, some of these ideas you guys can use in your campground. All right, guys, so the next three tips have to do with design patterns. And the reason why I'm at Able Sisters shop right now is this is how you get them. So go to the Able Sisters shop. Uh, it's also important to know that you guys need to have a Nintendo Switch online account. So I think it's like $19.99 a year. Um, I think there's other options where it's like $2.99. So when you are in the Able Sister shop, go to this kiosk here. And this is where it's gonna ask you if you have a paid Nintendo Switch Online membership. I hope you guys do because these next three tips rely on this. So you're just gonna go onto here and you are just going to put in either a creator ID or a design ID. Don't worry because while I'm doing these next three tips, I will have the creator codes on the screen for you guys, but just figured I would show you guys where to put in the ID codes, uh, cause I know some of you might ask. Now that you have that in mind, tip number three is a way to spruce up your beaches. This is adorable guys. So I will put the code on the screen right now for you. So basically you just open your Nook phone, you go to custom designs, and once you download them, they will all be here. So I have sand hearts, I have sand shells, sand octopus, and I also have sand mermaid. There's a bunch of them. So I just wanted to show you this one right here. So I also have the shell one right here. I just think this is adorable. And I don't know, it kind of it kind of gives your villagers a bit more depth too, like they drew them themselves. So just go onto your Nook phone, go to custom designs, click whichever one you want. Let's try out the mermaid and you just hit display on ground. And look at that. I think it looks cool. I think it looks really cool. Um, the next one, which here's your code. So the next one is a bunch of little shell designs. So I downloaded five of them right here and I've kind of been spreading them out all around my, all around my beach here. Uh, I think they work most effective near like the shoreline. Uh, so I think they look really good. And I don't know, it's just about giving your island a bit more detail and just, you know, little conversation pieces. When people come over, they're like, wait, how'd you, how'd you get this? So a couple shell designs here. So you have a starfish and a shell. And I don't know, I just really like the way it looks. It even looks good. Honestly, it even looks good higher up on the land. And I usually group a couple together and I combined it with the sand drawing. So I don't know, I'm gonna play around with this a bit more, but I really like the way it looks, especially near the rocks here. So hey, you just go into your Nook phone, custom designs, let's choose one of them. I think it just looks really good, especially if you spread a bunch out. I don't think you should do like the entire beach, but I think little areas really make it pop. So yeah, make your beaches look a lot better guys. All right, design idea number four is similar to the beach one, but this is more for your land and more for concrete and stuff like that. And this is little adorable. This is, if you were having a bad day before, this is gonna cure this. These are little chalk drawings. These are honestly like adorable. And like, again, it kind of tells a story, like your villagers, they look like hand-drawn. We're at the Able Sister shop, there's little there's Sable, Mabel. I just think this is adorable. I think it looks so good. And once again, guys, I'm putting these designs on the screen. I personally did not make them. I just want to point that out. Um, so I definitely want to give credit to these artists. They're really good and they absolutely nailed the hand-drawn look. Let me show you some other ideas with these. You, you guys can play around with them. There's actually probably a lot more. So if you're asking where I'm finding these, mostly Twitter, to be completely honest. Twitter has a lot of good ones. So this is another kind of idea. This is right outside of Stitch's house. I feel like this is something Stitch's would do. 
draw a little, uh, couple little designs with chalk. I think just these little tiny details really can make your island pop. So I am in love with these. Let me see, I downloaded four. So yeah, Mabel, Sable, and then a rainbow one and Mr. Nook. So I think these look precious. Like there's probably a ton more that I haven't found yet, but these little chalk drawings, definitely my approval. All right, so going with the design ID theming, tip number five is how to do the picnic area. This was one of the most requested things. If you guys watched my uh, island tour, I actually do have a little picnic area, but I wanted to show you guys how to kind of build these. So I'll put the, uh, the IDs on the screen for you guys if you wanna take them down. Easiest way to do that, instead of looking through all of the design IDs, just put the creator ID and you can see all of the designs that they've made. But yeah, these creators are awesome. Uh, so yeah, just go to your custom designs. Now there'll be, this is three pieces. So this is my original one that I have. You'll have a blanket piece and you'll have two fringe pieces. So first you wanna do the fringe that has the white towards the left. It's confusing because see how the fringe is on the left? This is actually for the right side. So there you go. That's the end fringe. And then what you wanna do Let's go back to your, into your custom designs, put the plaid pattern, and there you go. So if you keep doing that, and you guys can, you know, it's all up to you how big or how small you want it. See, I'm just gonna do a little one to show you. So yeah, the left side fringe is actually for the right side. And let's just do a simple one here. It's kind of annoying that you have to go back into this menu, but I think it's worth it in the end. These look really good. So display that. So that's, this is just a simple, simple one. I probably would make these a lot bigger, but just to show you guys. Now you're gonna go to where the fringe is on the right. This is actually for the left of your picnic blanket. So I just think this looks amazing. So let's put this down. So there you go, that's a very small one. All right, so here is my little picnic area. And as you can see, I made mine much larger. Um, but this design, I could not find, I found it on Twitter, I know that, this blanket design right here. So unfortunately I don't have the code, but I did provide you guys with this plaid one, the one that I showed you the demo of. Seriously guys, if you look on Twitter and just type in Animal Crossing picnic blanket, you'll find a bunch of them. Um, and there's some really cool ones. But yeah, I mean, for this, I just put it near the water. I think it looks really good. A couple little details on here, like the picnic set. I think this is from the Cherry Blossom Festival. And then just a little radio, I think is just all you need. Um, and you can see, I mean, I can make this longer if I want, but this kind of looks like the appropriate size for me. Um, but I think this is a great way to make a little kind of chill spot. I mean, it, mine's right near the waterfall. It's just a relaxing area. And I definitely think that this will make your island pop. All right, so there you have it. Five more design tips that will make your island really stand out. Thank you guys very much again for watching. Look at all these nice comments on the screen right here. I will see you in the next video. Have a good one.